Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Stumble98, and welcome to the installation tutorial for the Sonic Project 06 Mod Loader 2.0. I'm going to be covering a wide range of things in this video, from transferring over your save data and your settings, from uh, a current Project 06 save, installing the mod loader, installing characters, and installing stages. So let's go ahead and get started. Quick disclaimer, I want to say if you have never, ever, ever modified your PO6 in any way, download a fresh zip file from Chaos X's YouTube channel. All the links for this video will be down in the description, like to everything I downloaded, so you'll be good there. Before we actually get started with that, what I do want to say is that if you already have the previous version of the mod lo loader downloaded, it will automatically update the next time you load in Sonic Project 06. So this is my old custom stage loader. I'm just gonna wait for Melon Loader to start up here. And then the screen is going to appear, if I can drag it, there we go. You can see the custom stage loader is being updated and you don't have to do a single thing. Once it's finished, the game will start. There we go, update complete. I can go ahead and restart. All right, once it restarts, boom. Your Project 06 is all ready, ready to go, just like that. And just to confirm, of course, we can hop into the menu here. You can see we now have the mods tab. All right, back to what we were doing. So firstly, what we're going to do is we are going to extract our Sonic P06, and I'll meet you guys back when it's finished. All right, perfect. Now we have a Sonic the Hedgehog P06 ripe for modding. Firstly, if you want to um, transfer over your game save data or uh, your settings, is you go into the file where the executable is, and if you don't see the Sonic the Hedgehog underscore data folder on Windows 10, you go to view, hidden items, that box should be checked because you can see when I unchecked it, it disappeared. I click view, hidden items, Sonic the Hedgehog data will appear. I'm going to click into this and you'll see a whole bunch of files. If I head over to my vanilla Sonic Project 06 folder, if I click into the Sonic the Hedgehog data folder there, I'm gonna see gamedata.bin and settings.bin. Those are the two files I want. Now I can just transfer them over and boom, my game data and my settings are all over there. I won't have to modify anything when Sonic Project 06 loads. Once you've uh, you know, transferred your save data over if that's what you wanna do or if you wanna do it off of a completely fresh save, all you wanna do now is have your Sonic P06 folder open you're going to go to the mod loader and open up that zip file. Of course, you need 7-zip or WinRAR. That's one of the oldest tricks in the book on the internet. There's a million tutorials on how to get either uh, archive extractor, so you can just check it out there. And all we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of these and drag and drop them into the Sonic PO6 folder. That's it. That's all you have to do to install it. If you are having trouble installing it, I'm going to go over some common troubleshooting options uh, at the end. But the best troubleshooting option I could recommend, I'm in the bottom right of your screen, so look down here. The best troubleshooting option I can recommend is to try it with a fresh version of PO6, a fresh version of the mod loader, and that'll pretty much guarantee it'll work. Again, just to check, we can go ahead and load up PO6. You'll see this melon loader uh, console show up. PO6 should load up. And if we go ahead and load in here, we should see, boom, mods. Toggle mods and play custom stages. So with the new mod loader, what you can do is you can have custom stages, you can have custom characters, or you can have custom mods. I'm going to have the game banana page uh, linked down in the description. And what you need to do is it's going to say a Project 06 mod loader one-click install. That currently does not work for characters. That only works for stages. So you're going to have to manually download Unleash Sonic here. I already have them downloaded, so I'm just gonna bring the zip file right over here. And we're gonna open it and we'll see Unleash Sonic. Now, in order to get him into the game, 
We're going to want to leave Project 06 open. So I'm just going to go ahead and minimize it here. And then what we're gonna, going to want to do is head over to the folder where we installed the mod loader. Go to mods, PO6 ML, the folder, mods again, characters, Sonic. And we're going to take Unleash Sonic and plop them right in there. And that's it. That's how to get Unleash Sonic into here. So if I click on characters, Sonic, boom, he's already there, which is fantastic. And we can just press A to select him. Now, because we selected him, how exactly would I go back to playing as regular PO6 Sonic? You just press Y on this character screen and it resets back to default PO6 Sonic. So uh, you can have pretty much as many characters as you want. So you'll be able to scroll left and right and more characters will appear as they're made uh, by the community. So now that we have Unleashed Sonic, I would really like a stage for uh, him to play in that's more attuned to him. So uh, in order to download a stage, it's even easier than it is with uh, custom characters. All I have to do is head over to the Windmill Act 1, Windmill Isle Act 1 page. Man, I can't talk this morning, I apologize. And I'm going to scroll down, EO6 Mod Loader, one click install. Boom, you're gonna get this little prompt here. Click that. And then if I put it over here, download Windmill Isle Act 1 by Beats, yes. And this will only work if the Mod Loader is running. So that way it knows which PO6 to put uh, the stage in. So I've got nothing available. If uh, I click Y to refresh, boom, there we go. Windmill Isle Act 1 is available. If you are not able to do this, uh, like if the one-click install doesn't work for you, doing it manually is the same thing as character. Just instead of going into the characters part of the mods folder, you go into stages and you just plop Windmill Isle Act 1 there. Same thing with the plugins. When you download a plugin, you just plop a plugin right there and you can activate it and deactivate it within PO6 itself. So let's go ahead and just make sure everything's running smoothly here as we jump into Windmill Isle Act 1. And look at that. We can play Windmill Isle Act 1 with Unleashed Sonic. How amazing. Let's go. <laughs> If you haven't had any issues with the mod loader, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was useful for you. If you have questions, definitely make sure to put them down in the comments. I will try my best to answer them or find the answer for you. But I hope this helped. If you are having trouble with the mod loader, I recommend uh, sticking around for that. If you're having issues with the mod loader, the most common thing that I see uh, is infinite loading. So when you load in PO6, the uh, uh, melon loader console pops up and it just infinitely loads. What I've done personally to fix it is I've just uh, done task manager to erase the task and restart uh, and with melon loader and it loads. So I've only tried restarting PO6 first. Unfortunately, from what I understand, uh, this is my hunch. It's not 100% correct. I need to talk to Beats about it. Um, is if you're having trouble with infinite loading, your machine just might not be powerful enough to run the mod loader. And that's just the unfortunate consequence of things. Same thing with certain stages. Windmill Isle Act 1 is very resource heavy. So if you don't have a computer powerful enough, it might not be able to run it, which really stinks. And stage, uh, stage like lighting and, and textures and all that is inherent to the custom stage, not to PO6's settings. So... Unfortunately, changing the settings in PO6 probably won't affect uh, the custom stage at all, depending on how the developer created it. Secondly, this mods icon can be red. Uh, if it's red, that means that the mod loader is missing some sort of file. So again, I recommend get a fresh zip file from Chaos X's YouTube channel of Project 06 and a fresh mod loader zip file and try it. And if it's still giving you the red text, Head over to the PO6 Discord, which uh, there will be a link in the description to the Workshop Discord, and uh, we can try to help you out there as well. All right, I really hope you guys enjoy the custom stages. Uh, they're a ton of fun, and I'm really excited for what's in store for PO6 for the rest of it. So I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. And almost dropped my controller.